Biofeedback is something quite special we do in our public care centre and it's a special exercise done for chronic pelvic pain, uterine, bladder and rectal prolapse and also pelvic dyssynergia. The patient that is coming to me is fully evaluated and then if he or she needs biofeedback, in the first session I'm explaining them the mechanisms of defecation and also how this biofeedback bio works. So this means that the patient will come to me once or twice a week. I will teach them to do some exercises at home and together with them we will use a special machine. This special machine is from the United States and is helping the patients to visualize what they are doing, so basically their contractions. A probe is inserted either on the vagina or in the rectum based on the symptoms. So for example, the probe will be inserted in the vagina if the patient is complaining for urinary or incontinence or bladder prolapse or uterine prolapse. It's inserted in the rectum if the patient is having pelvic dyssynergia or rectal prolapse. And this machine is telling to the patient how he or she is contracting the anal canal or the pelvic floor muscles. So when I tell to the patient to squeeze, they will see the lights lighting up up to all the red. When I will tell the patients to relax, they will see the lights slowly going in down to the orange. And then when I tell them to squeeze and they would like to go to the toilet, we will see the lights also going more down. And this is a very important mechanism because it's actually helping the patients to visualize what they are doing together what I'm, to what I'm telling them and also the nurse is doing to help them. Biofeedback has a very high percentage rate of success after pelvic chronic pain, after pelvic dyssynergia, and can be used quite often in association with surgery and is done in a sandwich kind of a protocol, so before and after surgery in order to maximize the results.